Hey guys, I'm out here in the woods this morning. I'm gonna get the fire going, I'm gonna get the larvae up. I won't bother showing you that, you've seen all that before. But uh, I got some good food, so I'm gonna get that cooking quite soon because uh, I'm quite hungry this morning. And uh, then we'll get cracking with the camp and uh, we'll start gathering the materials, building the walls. Uh, we'll see how we get on with that one because uh, I've only got a finite amount of time here until sort of lunchtime and then I gotta be away. I just thought I'd come out this morning and just try and get some more done for you. All right, hope you enjoy. Okay, that's the larvae back up. Uh, I'm gonna get a fire going now. So everything's quite wet out here this morning. Um, we've had a lot of rain uh, over Christmas. I hope you guys have had a fantastic holiday. Um, so I'm just splitting everything down really fine to make sure this fire gets going nice and quick. I'll keep some stuff a bit chunkier for obviously building up some of the coals, but uh, giving myself a nice bed. Split some stuff really fine down. And then I got my finger size, so I'm gonna sort of like kindling things finger size. And I've got some fat wood and some perch bark um, to get it get it going.
Hey guys. So, food's underway. Got that going. It's looking good so far. Just let it tick away nicely on the fire. Set up a wee rig there for the frying pan. Um, not totally happy with it, but it'll do. Um, we'll, we'll rig up something a bit more substantial that's going to hold, I think. And um, for create a longer period of time. And I want to start something up and hang my can, um, kettle on as well. So we'll do that shortly. And I'm gonna make some saw horses. I decided rather than start this and make my life hard um, by not having anything to work off of, we'll build some saw horses and uh, give myself a nice sort of platform to work off of each time to cut the timber. And um, we'll go from there and see how that goes. I don't think I'll have time to get much in the way of the Lavu camp um, built. But if I can get the sawhorses built, I can get myself either, I'm thinking either a tripod, but I'm not totally sold on that. Or I might just make literally a bar across the top of the fire that I can hang things off of and use them to pot hangers. Uh, that's probably the most likely of what I'm going to use. Uh, what I'll do, thinking about it, if I put a um, timber with a V in it, this end, another one at the other end, but the other end being as substantial as I can possibly get it, and then I can cut the notches in for the frying pan to go in as well. And that'll be good, like that. We can have the frying pan on and the kettle hanging and what I might do I might widen that fire out so I can make a bit of a longer fire just so I can have both on the go at the same time with a bit more ease a little bit of a squeeze getting it all under that um, small fire there like that but uh, it's going well so far I'm happy the food's, the food's good the food's looking good That's incredible. That's got to be the best meal I've made out. Made out in the woods by far.
Fine. So now that's the uh, food all cooked up, I can get on with some uh, work here. I don't think I'm going to have time to start on the balls today. So what I'm going to do is I've got to set up the rig for the kettle and um, maybe redo, redo something with this for the frying pan and uh, then in the next um, episode might make the fire a little bit longer get some more stones I don't know maybe not maybe not quite happy with it the way it is if I can just dab them if I can just set up that rig for the kettle to hang and the frying pan to sort of like sit then that'll give me a nice space to cook off of now. Let's get this in before it gets cold. First time having the pine needle tea. It's good. It's good. Okay, so I think I found some bits here to um, make me pot hanger and sort out this frying pan hanger. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get time today to work on the shelter, but I'll be back out in the woods tomorrow anyway, so I can crack on with it then. I'm thinking this will be good for a bit of a pot hanger, maybe a little bit chunky. Don't know if it needs to be that thick. Um, do I use it or don't I? Um, no, you know what? I'll make one out of this here. Just a bit more the size that I need. So what I'll do is I'll nip that off there. <laughs>
much the same as the tent pegs. And cut a little groove in this. You'll catch the bail. Sturdy on that. Flip that around the other way. And go on. Hey guys. So that's the end of the episode today. I've run out of time. Uh, sorry I didn't get onto the walls. Um, but I'm glad that I made the Hot hanger system at least so got the um, system there so that the kettle and things can be uh, working properly and I can adjust the heights of um, when I'm hanging things the only thing I do need to look at is um, I wasn't happy with where the frying pan holder thing was and how that worked so I've changed that up and I'll have to come up with something a little bit different got a few ideas we'll see how that one comes out uh, next episode, which for me is tomorrow, um, I'm definitely going to be starting on the walls. I've uh, sourced the material out um, so I know exactly where that is, um, so that'll make it a lot quicker. I can rock in, get a crack in with it, get the material all sort of like sourced out and brought over. I'm really happy with how the episode went. The food was fantastic, I love that. I uh, hope that came across well for you and uh, we don't come out here just to work, work, work and build, build, build. Part of it's just the nice relaxation of sitting in front of the fire and eating some good food. It certainly is for me. Uh, it's a good wind down. So, thanks for joining me. Thanks for all your support. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.